Okay, Thanksgiving's done, daughter is married, car is fixed, family members' bones are healed, and I finally have a chance to answer questions asked by $3 supporters at Patreon and Subscribestar during November. If you'd like to ask a question for December, the links are below. Let's start off with a question on Patreon from Darth Vega. What is your response to people who say we need laws forcing companies to disclose data breaches and ransomware attacks? The principle is, you own yourself, so you own any information about you that cannot be separated from you, even things that are attached to you, like a social security number. When a police officer arrests you, the moment you're in his custody, he has a duty of care. By the same token, anyone else who has your personal information should have a duty of care over that information including the responsibility of keeping it safe and informing you if it gets breached. If we had property rights over our private information and people who held that information had a duty of care, that would solve so many problems, including disclosure of cybersecurity breaches, privacy protections, all sorts of things. Delta Wolf asks, What are your thoughts on the antinatalism movement, i.e. the people who say having children is a crime because muh overpopulation or existence is pain? Also, why do you think it's becoming semi-popular on the internet philosophy forums? While the decision to have children should be a personal choice and not pressured on people, it doesn't take a genius to realize the fatal flaw in the movement. There used to be a religious group called the Shakers, They didn't believe in doing the bango-bango even once you were married. Result? They didn't have any children, and now they're all gone. I think I've sufficiently debunked the overpopulation myth, so check the channel for that. I also took a whack at existentialism recently. It's a video called Three More Stupid Questions. Its thumbnail is an AI rendering of Albert Camus with a headache. You'll see it. I really don't get the appeal myself. Other than it being one of those positions stupid people take to make themselves feel smart, that is. Sid Pop Monobon asks, What are your thoughts on gentrification? Is it the problem or example of systemic racism many say it is? This is one I had to go back and hunt for, but on the podcast back in 2019, I covered a study from The Guardian showing that so-called gentrification, in other words, people moving around, was associated with a drop in crime. In fact, the largest benefit, a 40% decrease in gun homicides, was enjoyed by black residents. The more of them move out to other neighborhoods, or the more other people move in, the lower the crime rate. And this was only looking at people who moved around the area. So it wasn't the case that the criminals were moving out or anything. The exact same people committed fewer crimes just because some people moved. And as you might figure, it's all related to the modern-day eugenics. Zoning and the war on drugs destroy minority-heavy inner cities. So-called gentrification helps to fix the problem. And sorry to break it to you, but they don't want it fixed. Changing the makeup of neighborhoods to be more diverse is an immense benefit to everyone. And considering it's the people on the left who screech about gentrification, the same people who claim to want more diversity, and the only response they had to this study was to screech, OFFENSIVE! I think it's clear that this is just one more holdover from eugenics. Because... What is this preservation of black inner-city neighborhoods but another form of segregation? Over on Subscribestar, Fun With Facts asks, What are your thoughts on plea bargains? Should they be banned, reformed, or are they fine as is? We definitely need to change how these work. Here's the issue. You prosecute someone. You overcharge them with a zillion violations which is easy to do because government has stuffed the code so full of all sorts of crazy laws, no one could possibly obey them all. Looking at the extensively long charging sheet, you say, Hey, if you were sentenced to all of these consecutively, you could be in jail for a hundred years, but we'll let you plead to a lesser charge and get six months. Do you get the issue? 
Which one would you think the person deserves? A hundred years or six months? If it's a hundred years, why would you ever let him out in six months? But if it's six months, what kind of monster would threaten him with a hundred years? Okay, most of them aren't that out of whack, but you get the idea. It's a difference in degree only, not kind. And it's especially egregious when you say, we'll let you plead to the lesser charge and serve six months if you change your story and testify against this other guy. That's basically how they got Martha Stewart. And to this day, I haven't figured out how that's not witness tampering. I hope I've impressed upon you that a plea bargain is no such thing. A bargain is when two people negotiate to a mutually beneficial result. A plea bargain is the result of a threat. And as I just showed, it's an unjust threat. Prosecutors hold all the power and have plenty of tools in their arsenal to scare the person into agreeing to whatever the prosecutor wants. Something like 97% of convicts are in prison because they accepted plea bargains. Prosecutors are not supposed to be working to get convictions. They're supposed to be working to get justice. And yet, it's convictions they go for and point to for their own success, with no accountability. Personally, I think we should just end plea bargaining. But failing that, there are ways to make it better. We could make them appealable, whereas now most of them aren't. We could also require informed consent. Just as with your doctor wanting to do a procedure, and these prison sentences are often way more consequential, they have to show you all the evidence they have against you. Truthfully. Oh yes, they'll lie to you to get a plea bargain too. And a plea bargain should not be conditional on you testifying a certain way or changing your story. That, as I said before, should be seen as witness tampering. Bargain for their truthful testimony, sure, but not to change or direct their testimony. And finally, no plea bargain should be invalid just because you want to get a lawyer to look it over first. Making a plea bargain invalid if they want to do that should be seen as a violation of their Fifth and Sixth Amendment rights. Without any of that, plea bargain is just mafia extortion, nothing more. Thomas Urbanski has a long post about AI, which I'll let you read for yourself, but it's basically about how to get into generative AI. I've been able to do a lot with just free tools. If you want to generate images, you can get free software like Invoke AI and Automatic 1111 and download models for them from Hugging Face and Civit AI. I'm only more recently getting into text-to-text -text models, and I'm using the open source Uba Booga, but sadly, it's hard to get information on the models themselves other than just looking around. There are AI subreddits and subreddits for the specific software that can help, and each of them have their own Discord servers. But sadly, the best Discord for this in general, AI Hub, was forcibly shut down by the RIAA. As far as resources, the best thing you could get is a good video card. I have an RTX 3060, by no means the latest and the greatest, but it has 12 gigabytes of VRAM, and that's probably the most important part. You'll really want enough VRAM to load the model you're using completely. Otherwise, it'll be so slow it's infuriating. You might be better off with something like an A100. That's a Tensor Core GPU that's basically designed to work with AI. It'll be slower at doing things like Blender renders, but it has 80 gigabytes of GPU memory, so loading those very large models you'd really need for LLMs would be a lot easier. Fair warning, it'll cost ya. But either way you go, the AI art software I recommend as being the friendliest, while giving you all the power you could want, is Invoke AI. They have a YouTube channel, and there are a bunch of other YouTube tutorials for it as well, and they have a Discord. Programming is more complicated. Uba Booga is open source, but it's finding a good model that's the issue. I've had some luck with the Wizard Vicuna model, so I'll link to that, but I know there are other good ones too. But again, you'll need a nice beefy GPU to run them effectively. And finally, Agony shouts out Lewis Rossman's app GrayJ, which, in his words, aggregates videos from different platforms and would keep you from losing your whole audience if you're a band, 
or when subscribers are not notified of a posted video. It does nothing about YouTube playing favorites with recommended videos if people keep using the YouTube website and few people even try out the alternative websites. But in the long term, it could start to erode YouTube's influence. Yeah, I have it downloaded and I have my identity set up on it, but it's still very much in early testing and is missing a lot of features it'll need to be ready for prime time. I'll link to the app, but unfortunately I can't link to Rossman's announcement video because YouTube took it down for violating their community guidelines. So I guess, sadly, there's just no way for you to see- Wait a minute, what am I saying? It's up on Odyssey, so I'll just link to that. Ironically, they've just demonstrated the best part. With GrayJ, if one platform takes it down, it'll just show you the video on a different platform. Because you're following the person, not the platform. And that'll do it for the holiday season. We'll do this again in the new year to get December's questions. Until then, comments for the comment god, shares for the share throne. Please hit like, subscribe, and the bell. And check out other videos on my channel and like and share them to get above the shadow banning. And of course, go to donate.bogosity.tv for all sorts of ways to support, including PayPal, Venmo, and various cryptocurrencies. Thanks again, and until next time, stay strong and be free.